Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a re review of Captain America, the first Avenger, uh, the movie. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get started. So, Captain America, the first Avenger, obviously came out in 2011. I believe it came out in 2011. Uh, stars Chris Evans as Captain America and um, Sebastian Stan as Bucky Barnes. So, um, obviously, a lot of people are going to really like this movie just for the fact that it is a Captain America movie. Now, Captain America was never one of my favorite Marvel superheroes in general. I was always much more of an Iron Man or Black Widow type of person. I really like Thor now. I didn't used to like him, but, um, in the older movies. But, yeah, I, I like Captain America a little bit. I do really enjoy the character of Captain America. I just am not, personally, have ever, never been a huge fan of Captain America, personally. So, getting into the movie, uh, getting the good things out of the way, um, I really enjoy, I think it's a very well-made movie. Now, uh, one alarming thing I was noticing about it is that I think Wonder Woman ripped off a lot of things from this movie, which is really interesting. I think Wonder Woman is a better movie, but, um, that is sort of beside the point. Now, this movie isn't bad by any means, it's a lot better than most m movies. Um, it's one of the weaker MCU movies, in my opinion. But, I absolutely love what's going on here. It's basically the story revolves around the origin of Captain America in World War II, and basically how he... Yes, by the way, I apologize for the giant bandage on my head, but, um... It's just a, it's just a slightly infected acne spot. So, um... Yes, anyway, so Captain America, um... C cool dude. And, uh, the movie... Is about Captain America in World War II fighting Red Skull and Hydra, who is an evil organization who kind of breaks off from the Nazis. And uh, they've got the artifact here. We got the Tesseract, uh, the um, blue. Oh God, what is it? The Space Stone. I'm so sorry. The yeah, um, Infinity Stone going on here. And um, get some really interesting things with that. Um, now I really do enjoy enjoy the movie as a whole. Um, some of the best parts of the movie are definitely the um, scene where he gets beat up, beat up in the alley, and of course the uh, scene where he changes from scrawny kid to um, super buff guy, <laughs> um, and um, um, of course there's um, Bucky Barnes in this, uh, such a good bromance there, if you ask me. Um, they're so cute together. Honestly, and there's a lot going on with that. And, um, of course, Peggy Carter. I think she is a completely badass woman character in the, in the movies. I absolutely love her so much. I can't believe it. Just an absolutely fantastic character. And, wow. I just, yeah. And, a strong enough villain, I guess. Not really very anything very memorable, honestly, but strong enough villain. Alright, so getting into the stuff I really liked as well, we've got the montage, the hilarious montage where he is kind of doing the propaganda stunt, um, and of course the scenes toward the end are really good as well. Some of the fight scenes are good. The scene in the, like, sort of bridge, I don't think it's really a bridge, like, suspension area that, like, blows up and he's talking to Red Skull when Red Skull reveals himself as Red Skull. So, yeah, there's some really dang good stuff in this movie, but overall, I just kind of feel like, um, not to mention, oh, the score is really good, the theme for this movie is really good, but not to mention that I just never found Chris Evans that interesting. Like, Chris Evans, to me, was always the boring Chris in Hollywood. Um, I don't really know why. He, he can crack some good jokes in interviews, but overall, I mean, I mean, of course, cr cr Chris Pratt's the goof, cr Chris Hemsworth is incredibly good-looking, Chris Pine has amazing eyes, I mean... Like, all the Chris's are just very kind of different, and they all have something 
going for them, if you ask me. And, but Chris, Chris Evans just never really had a lot that really compelled me. As an actor, he's competent enough. He's not a bad actor by any means. It's just not really that interesting. And the same thing I feel about the character of Captain America. Just not that interesting of a character. Again, I really like, I really like Bucky. Of course, I like um, some of these side characters in the movie. But I just can't get past the blandness I feel from the characters, the lack I, a lack of feeling I have in general for Captain America. There are some very heartfelt moments in the movie, I'm not trying to deny it, but overall I just can't get past some of the things that are just not, there's nothing really that stands out to me as bad, honestly just forgettable. I honestly forgotten a lot of the things that happened in this movie. To me it's just kind of a forgettable movie, and I'm really sorry to say that because it's a fantastic fantastic superhero film for what it was, but I just, I just can't get into it, honestly. I do really enjoy the film, but there are just parts I'm not a huge fan of. Now, going off that, I will say that I, um, did come to appreciate the character of Captain America a little more in Civil War, especially, and of course he wasn't really in Infinity War much, which I think served him well, although I am getting a little tired of the Tony Stark oversaturation. Now, I absolutely love Tony Stark. He's probably, probably one of, if not my favorite character in the entire MCU. Obviously the OG. But, honestly, um, he's had the most amount of screen time in two Avengers films. He's had third, third, for third most screen time in the third Avengers film. He's had three of his own movies. He was in Spider-Man Homecoming. He had an uncredited cameo at the end of Incredible Hulk movie. I, look, I love Tony Stark and I love Robert Downey Jr., but seriously, two million for, for two movies? I'm sorry, it just, no, that's not justified. But anyway, so, I mean, Chris Evans has had plenty of time to shine, and I do hear he is leaving, or his contract is up after Avengers, he's not coming back after Avengers 4, so... He has had a good run as Captain America. Captain America, the character, has had a good run. But honestly, I feel like Stark never gets old in a way. Like, um, yes, he's probably going to... They're probably going to retire him soon, which I would be totally okay with at this point. Tony Stark's been around forever. But Captain America just never felt like a compelling character to me. Uh, I felt more... I felt more for him in Civil War. But again, that had to do with Bucky as well, the dynamic there. And I love the friendship between Cap and Bucky, but I just can never really get past how bland I find Captain America as a character in this MCU. Um, and I just, I don't know, but I just, Captain America, what do you mean? Now, I will give much better reviews when I get around to re-watching Winter Soldier and Civil War. Those movies I did enjoy much more. Um, I mean, honestly, what compelled me about Civil War, I love, I mean, Winter Soldier, I'm so sorry, I loved Bucky and Natasha and Nick Fury and, like, the side characters in that movie more than the side characters in this movie. I mean, like, Peggy, Car Peggy Carter, but just, ugh. overall, I just couldn't get past a few of the little complaints I had about these movies, so that's about all I have to say, to be honest, and... I really enjoyed the film, but honestly, I feel like there's something missing. Also, Solo ripped off the train scene, and that's about it for today. And, um, next movie I'm probably going to be reviewing is the original Avengers, because I'm going to be watching that again, so... That's... Actually, I might make the original Avengers... I actually might make that as an episode of... of the, um... Um... Unpopular geek reviews because I don't like it as much as a lot of people do. I don't hate them. I, there are things I legit love about the movie. I'm going to be seeing it again. But if that opinion holds up after my third viewing, I will, after what will be my third viewing, I will um, make an Unpopular Geek Reviews video on that one and then I will just do some straight, more straight reviews on Winter Soldier and Civil War, which are the next movies I'm planning on watching Age of Ultron as well. Um, Age of Ultron could be another Unpopular Geek Reviews as well. Um, because I like that one a lot better. We'll get into that. So, anyway, that's about it for the video. Uh, and that's about all I have to say about it. So, Captain America, First Avenger, definitely worth a, worth a, worth a, worth a screening, but not my favorite MCU film by a long shot. In fact, one of my list, least favorites, toward the bottom. But bad, but not, not bad by any means.